You've probably heard of the big one, the earthquake, predicted to rattle California to its core. But what if I told you there's an even more formidable threat lying in wait in the heartland of America? Imagine a force so powerful it could turn entire cities to ash and throw the world into turmoil. It's eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Dormant for over 70,000 years, this geological behemoth silence could be broken by a cataclysmic eruption. So what if Yellowstone erupted tomorrow? Let's explore the potential consequences. On April 3rd, 2024, Yellowstone Steamboat Geyser captured attention by erupting for the second time this year, making headlines. However, this event was not isolated. April also witnessed more than 150 recorded earthquakes, underscoring the real threat of a catastrophic supervolcano eruption. The potential consequences of such an eruption would be devastating. Given Yellowstone's infrequent eruption history, only three major events in the past two million years. The recent uptick in volcanic activity has understandably raised concerns about the possibility of another Yellowstone eruption in the near future, possibly within the coming years. Stay tuned as we assess the likelihood of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, provide updates on the current situation, and explore the potential aftermath if such an event were to occur. Before diving into these details, it's essential to understand the context. Volcanic eruptions are driven by magma, a mixture of molten and semi-molten rock that accumulates in underground chambers over time. These chambers fill with magma and gas, which rise from the Earth's mantle and exert pressure against the lower crust. When this pressure reaches a critical point, the chamber fractures, creating cracks and fissures in the ground. Through these openings, volcanic material bursts forth as lava or solid fragments known as pyroclasts, resulting in the explosive display we recognize as a volcanic eruption. In cases of extreme power, the eruption can eject such a large volume of material that the chamber becomes unstable, causing its walls to collapse inward and form a depression known as a caldera. This temporary seal allows magma and gas to accumulate once more, setting the stage for future eruptions. Volcanic eruptions vary widely in size and intensity, ranging from small-scale events to massive explosions. We gauge volcanic eruptions using the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, a scale ranging from 1 to 8. Each level on this scale corresponds to an exponentially larger volume of ejected volcanic material. For example, a VEI-5 eruption might expel about one cubic kilometer of material similar to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that famously buried the ancient city of Pompeii. Moving up the scale, VEI-6 eruptions are 10 times more powerful than VEI-5, and VEI-7 eruptions are 100 times more potent. While many volcanic eruptions can be devastating, they typically do not reach the magnitude of super eruptions, which are the most catastrophic events on the VEI scale. These rare and extremely destructive natural disasters occur when magma accumulates over millennia before erupting, ejecting more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material and impacting the entire planet. The most recent super eruption occurred approximately 26,500 years ago at New Zealand's Taupo volcano, releasing over 1,100 cubic kilometers of material and drastically reshaping the landscape. This event created a large caldera that eventually filled with water, forming what is now known as Lake Taupo. Among the select few volcanoes capable of producing a super eruption is the Yellowstone supervolcano, also known as the Yellowstone caldera. This is largely attributed to its extensive underground magma system, which stretches across much of Yellowstone National Park and has been active for an impressive 2.1 million years. During this lengthy period, Yellowstone has witnessed three catastrophic super eruptions, with the most recent being the Lava Creek eruption approximately 630,000 years ago, shaping the caldera as it exists today. Given this history, many ponder whether the Yellowstone caldera is overdue for another major volcanic event. While it's impossible to predict precisely what would occur if this super volcano were to erupt again, one certainty remains the consequences would be catastrophic. Predicting the precise consequences of a supervolcano eruption is exceedingly difficult. However, such an event is unlikely to occur without warning signs. Days, weeks, or even years before an eruption, 
Satellites might detect ground informations as the magma chamber fills and expands. Seismographs would register increasingly powerful earthquakes that create cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust. In some areas, steam or hot volcanic gases may escape from the ground, hinting at a looming disaster. Should the pressure beneath the crust become overwhelming, a series of explosive eruptions could unleash an immense volume of volcanic material. A column of superheated pyroclastic flows could erupt, soaring into the stratosphere. Large chunks of pyroclastic rock would cool quickly and rain down as hazardous volcanic bombs. Additionally, the eruption would produce a colossal cloud of ash and volcanic gases, spreading over 1,500 kilometers and casting the surrounding area into darkness. This airborne volcanic debris could travel great distances, potentially reaching the Pacific coast or even the eastern seaboard, depending on wind patterns. The fallout of hot ash could disrupt communication networks and pose significant hazards to airborne aircraft. The environmental and human impacts of such an eruption would be devastating. Vast swaths of farmland could be decimated, and respiratory illnesses could afflict both humans and animals. A caldera-forming eruption at Yellowstone could potentially render large parts of the United States unsafe or uninhabitable. Among the most deadly volcanic hazards are pyroclastic flows, which could erupt from the blast site and race along the surface at speeds exceeding 100 kilometers per hour. These flows have the capacity to annihilate entire towns, forests, and agricultural lands, leaving behind landscapes scorched or flattened. The energy released by such an eruption would be immense, surpassing the power of even the strongest nuclear weapons ever created. The resulting blast would generate audible sounds heard from thousands of kilometers away, accompanied by pressure waves that could propagate globally, leading to fluctuations in atmospheric pressure and triggering extreme weather events. Attempting to predict the immediate human toll of such a rare and powerful disaster remains an exceedingly difficult challenge. Scientists have been studying and estimating the catastrophic effects of a Yellowstone super eruption for years. The projections are chilling. Tens or possibly hundreds of thousands of lives could be lost on the very first day. The eruption would unleash a deadly combination of fast-moving pyroclastic flows, debris avalanches, and suffocating ash clouds that would engulf cities and suburban areas. While it's impossible to predict the exact toll of such a disaster, one thing is clear, a super eruption at Yellowstone would stand as one of the deadliest events in modern history. The catastrophe would have profound consequences, affecting not only human lives, but also the planet's climate and ecosystems. When volcanoes erupt, they release a mix of gases, including sulfur dioxide, which reacts with water to form aerosols that reflect sunlight back into space. This can trigger a sudden cooling effect, lowering temperatures, and altering the global climate for years. History has shown us the devastating impact of massive volcanic eruptions. For instance, the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia had a profound effect on the global climate, earning 1816 the nickname, the year without summer. While the Tambora eruption was catastrophic, it pales in comparison to the potential devastation of a super eruption which could plunge the world into a prolonged period of global cooling known as a volcanic winter. The consequences of such an event would be catastrophic. Food chains could collapse, vulnerable species could face extinction, and humanity would struggle to survive amid widespread famine and disease. One alarming prediction suggests that a Yellowstone super eruption could devastate three quarters, potentially resulting in the loss of an estimated 90% of the population. The colossal amount of ash expelled during such an eruption would be staggering, covering extensive areas of North America in a thick layer of debris. Additionally, the eruption would release vast quantities of volcanic gases and aerosols into the atmosphere, profoundly impacting the global climate. The stratospheric aerosol layer, primarily composed of sulfur dioxide and other gases, would deflect sunlight, resulting in a cooling effect on the Earth's surface. Analysts speculate that a Yellowstone super eruption could lead to an abrupt annual temperature drop of up to 12 degrees C. This volcanic winter scenario would disrupt weather patterns, diminish agricultural yields, and potentially trigger food scarcity in various parts of the world. Given the region's active geological nature, 
The threat of earthquakes or volcanic eruptions remains a significant concern. Authorities are actively implementing precautionary measures to comprehend, monitor, and mitigate these potential risks. Recently, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and its collaborative partners introduced a new monitoring strategy focused on volcanic activity and seismic events. The new monitoring plan aims to significantly enhance regional monitoring capabilities and improve the assessment of geological hazards by strategically deploying seismometers, GPS stations, and other advanced tools across Yellowstone National Park. These instruments provide continuous real-time data on the geological activity beneath the park's surface. While some experts speculate that the Yellowstone caldera may be overdue for an eruption, soon in geological terms could span the next 100,000 years. Presently, there are no indicators suggesting an imminent super eruption. Even if warning signs were detected, they could potentially signify a relatively common hydrothermal event rather than a global catastrophe. Yellowstone National Park boasts one of the world's largest hydrothermal systems, occasionally experiencing significant hydrothermal explosions every few hundred years. While these events can be hazardous and disruptive locally, they generally pose minimal risk beyond the surrounding region. The possibility of a Yellowstone super eruption is undeniably alarming, as it could potentially be the largest volcanic event in recorded history with global implications. However, the probability of such an event occurring within our lifetime remains low. Regarding your perspective on which region is most vulnerable to a devastating volcanic eruption, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.